hi everybody this is my first video after hitting 500 subscribers so i wanted to thank you all for your support and in today's episode i would love to share with you four ways to sculpt the eyebrows that i use the most and as always i hope you will enjoy it so the first method is simple as it gets with basic dim brush i draw a sharp outline of the eyebrows shape and that's it works best on low subdivision fill the shape if needed takes literally 2 seconds and the result is good enough to add the temper and similarity to the character. Second method. Still using the damn brush, I simply add eyebrow shape straight to the face. I start on the lower subdivision and when I like the overall shape, I subdivide it and add few sharper strokes. What is important here is to know how eyebrows grow. Notice how they change the direction from the inner side to the outer side. Also notice how hairs grow in one direction and overall shape goes up till the middle and after the middle overall shape bends and goes down. Also eyebrows start to grow in two directions, from bottom to top and from top to bottom. So basically you can say that the eyebrow looks like that. Of course, it depends on the person, but basically I use these rules and it works in most cases. This is the method I use the most, it's super fast, fits good to realistic and stylized characters and it looks very subtle. Method number 3 Thank you very much. I spent on these transitions more than on eyebrows themselves, so please tell me you like them. Take a curved strap snap brush. Note that it does not work with subdivision levels, so you better freeze subdiv or better make a duplicate of the head and delete all other levels. Then use it as a base mesh for the eyebrows. Now you can draw the curve, but the shape is too square. So go to the stroke menu, curve modifiers, size. Now the size changes, but we want it other way around. Go back and edit the shape. You can play with it a bit. Perfect. You can edit the shape with the move brush. Also, now you can split the eyebrows from the base mesh. This method fits best to the stylized characters and you can also sculpt it a little bit. Method number 4. I use the same brush, you can use other curve brushes too. Reduce the size and draw separate strokes. The only problem is that curves merge if drawn too close, so go to the stroke menu and reduce the curve snap distance. And simply draw all the hair separately. forget to hide the hair base with the move topology brush or separate the eyebrow mesh from the head and use a usual move brush to move all the hairs at once. I don't use it much since it takes more time, but it's important to know the method as well. So, these are the four approaches to sculpting eyebrows that I use the most, but what is the most important thing here? This video is not about picking the best method out of four. The most important part here is for you to understand the four different approaches to work with eyebrows and be able to combine them in multiple ways. Here is an example of a character I made. I used a third method to make an eyebrow base, then I used method number 4 to add few separate strokes and at the end I used method number 2 to sculpt shape to the eyebrow base. This is just one example, you can use various combinations or even other approaches. I hope this video was helpful and see you back in the next video!